All right, let's jump directly into JavaScript. At this point in time, you should have a text editor like VS Code, Atom, Sublime, something like that. And all we're going to do is create a new file. And I'm just going to save this as a .html file. And I'm going to call this your first script.html. So at first it looks like we're creating an HTML file, and in fact we are. So I'm just going to create, ooh, make that smaller. I'm just going to create a quick little HTML5 layout here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to create a Java script. And so inside of my HTML, usually at the bottom of your page, just before the body tag here, the ending body tag, we put a tag called script in here, script and slash script. And that's how we pretty much do anything with JavaScript inside of the page. Now, if you're following along with this course, really, you don't actually need this stuff. You just need doc type, HTML, head, body, and then put script inside of your body. I'm just going to leave that in there just, you know, for reasons, because... Hey, VS Code automatically puts it in there for me, so I'll just keep it in there. Let's call this your first script. And where we have our script in here, all I'm going to do is type alert bracket quotation mark. Hi, my name is Caleb. And then I put an ending quotation mark and an ending bracket or parentheses and then a semicolon. And so if I save this file and I go into Chrome and I simply hit Command O or Control O, you can also go into File Open. And if I just open up that file, it will automatically execute my JavaScript for me. And so there's an alert in here, this little annoying box that pops up says, Hi, my name is Caleb. And anytime I refresh the page, it says, Hi, my name is Caleb. Hi, my name is Caleb. Let's do it again. Hi, my name is Caleb. What happens if I click it once more? it will say, hi, my name is Caleb. And that's because everything between this tag here, this opening script tag and this closing script tag, all this JavaScript is going to run. Now at this point, we don't know about things like syntax, which is like the structure of the language. Why do we have a semicolon? Why do we have a parentheses? Why do we have a quotation mark? What is an alert? We don't know that stuff yet, and that's actually okay. But for now, what I would like you to do is just create a little script like this. So if you need to, feel free to pause the video and just create a script. It says, hi, my name is, and then whatever your name is, and just make sure it's, it's an alert. Make sure it looks a lot like my code here. The important part is line 15 to line 17 here. You don't have to worry too much about this stuff. We're not looking at creating a responsive website, which is what basically this is doing. We just want some JavaScript to run and then open it up in your browser. There is an alternative to doing this. If you want to, you don't have to do this in a file. You can also do this right in your browser. So if you open up any page, right click inspect. And you're going to want to click on the tab that says console. And in here, this is just your JavaScript console. You're able to write any JavaScript you want. So for example, I could say alert JavaScript for beginners, if I could spell it right. And there we go, it says JavaScript for beginners. And you notice that it looks like the exact same code as what I wrote over here. The text is different inside of it. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but basically, it looks the exact same. So you could do it that way. Or if you wanted to, you could use codepen.io, which is a tool for basically sandboxing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And I'll show you that one in a couple of videos from now. But these are the two main ways that we execute JavaScript. Basically, your large scripts go in here, and if you ever need to test anything, hey, just open up your browser, right-click inspect, go into your console, and you can write any JavaScript you want. The next thing to be aware of is how do we link to JavaScript files? Well, if you're familiar with HTML and CSS, in CSS, it's a link element. In JavaScript, we do script. SRC instead of href, SRC is equal to, let's go scripts and your first script.js. We could do type is equal to whatever type we want it to be. And we basically just close the script. And what this is going to do is try to load from the scripts folder and it's going to look for your first script.js. Now this does not exist, so this is not going to work, but that is how you would use an external file. So if you have multiple HTML files that you want JavaScript to run on, you don't have to copy and paste it. You can simply use an external file, and that is something you should have learned in CSS and HTML as well.
So your task for this video is to basically just create a script, an open script tag, a closing script tag, make sure it's just above your body. You don't want it up in the head like I wrote up there, let's get rid of that. You want it just above your slash body tag. And you know, you'd have all your HTML in here. And then just alert to the world. Hello, my name is, and then whatever your name is. Once you've done that, let's head on over to that next lesson.